Russian with passion. Today we're going to continue talking about nouns, Russian nouns. Do not forget that on this channel we study English too, so do not flee if you find this class not interesting. The next one is going to be about English. So, but let's get cracking and let's talk about Russian nouns. So we have already discussed Russian genders. Now we should talk about nouns. So, as you know, in English, there's just one ending. Well, there are some exceptions, but basically, and the ending S shows us that we are talking about plural, the plural form of a noun. In Russian, it's a little bit different. As you know, there are quite many endings in Russian, and uh, depending on what ending uh, the word has, it can have a different ending, which demonstrates us that this is a plural form. So let's get cracking. Now we have to memorize a few things. Do not worry, it's going to be just fine. Uh, so let's try to memorize. Let's get cracking. There's going to be a chart or a table of some kind which we're going to study. Let's start. So the first group of nouns, these are nouns, masculine nouns ending in a hard consonant. There are some more nouns which we should consider. They are feminine nouns ending in a. So in this case, if you want to form a plural, uh, if you want to uh, create a plural form, your job is to add ending e. For example, stall, a table, stali. This is a plural form. Ulitsa, a street, ulitsi, streets. Well, let's move on to the second group. Here we're going to talk about um, any nouns ending in Y and the soft sign. For example, Simya, a family. In this case, you should add an ending E. Simya, Simi, Dvir, Dviri, a door. Doors. Simya. Simyi. Dvir. Dviri. And so on. The next group are masculine and feminine noun nouns with the stem ending in the following consonants. Let's take a look. K, G, H, Ch, Sh, Z and sh. In this case we also add the ending e. Noj. Singular, a knife. Naji. Plural. Naga. Singular. A leg. Nogi. Plural. The next case uh, it is neuter uh, nouns ending in or. And if you want to create a plural form, in this case, you are supposed to use an ending a. For instance, akno here or is an ending. We take it away and put an ending a, which creates a plural form. Akno, a window. Akno, okna. Notice that in this case, the stress is changed. In this uh, lesson, we are not going to talk about the stress. We are going to continue talking about plural forms. So stay tuned. Now we, we are talking about endings. Let's continue. There is the last case. Uh, and it is nouns, no neuter nouns ending in ye. In this case, you add an ending ya. For example, more, si, maria. Sees. Once again, the stress is changed, but we are going to talk about that later. More, Maria. Once again, here you take away the ending year and put the ending ya. Okay, that's it for today. Now you know a little bit more about the Russian language, uh, numbers in particular, and different endings. 
so uh, stay tuned for my next videos of course we're going to keep studying Russian grammar Russian vocabulary Russian pronunciation we're going to practice anyways that's it for today do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel follow me in different places facebook contact and so on twitter instagram so that's it i hope to see you soon happy english and russian practice bye bye uh are the nouns mascula uh, or masculine or mascula mascula oh my god where i talking about mascula as you know in russian there are